Hello everybody. Um, in this video, we're gonna continue what uh, uh, we uh, were discussing last time about doing the energy balance calculations. So last time we sh we saw how uh, the calculations are done and how we can calculate the enthalpy and um, the, spe the specific enthalpy and how we can get the enthalpy from the specific enth enthalpy and the flow rate. And um, uh, we saw how these calculations are uh, like need a lo lot of time because it's integration of the CP uh, DT and then calculation uh, with uh, reference temperature. Um, and uh, today we will see how we can do these calculations uh, in Excel in a way that will save a lot of time um, instead of doing all these calculations manually. So. Uh, we will do two examples today and uh, actually the, the main goal uh, in my mind today is to uh, um, know how to do the calculations in Excel and how to uh, make the calculations easily uh, and uh, how to um, arrange the, uh, the Excel sheet so that it can help you do the calculations quickly. So uh, we will start with this example of doing uh, our calculation of enthalpy of liquid benzene. And actually, uh, we will do the steps one by one. So first, we need to uh, see what's the temperature at which we do the calculations. And then we will find the constants, uh, the A, B, C, and D, or C1, C2, C3, and C4, and then calculate the enthalpy. And I, I like to arrange the Excel sheet uh, in this way, to have the constants in a specific place and the temperatures in a specific place. And I'll, I'll tell you in few minutes why I'm doing this and then calculate the enthalpy the specific enthalpy and then the enthalpy uh, from the flow rate um, so first uh, for liquid benzene we know benzene evaporates around at uh, 80 Celsius so we will do the uh, calculations at temperature lower than this so the temperature will be 60 and we said that we do the calculations at reference temperature of 25 and uh, because these calculations uh, or the temperature has to be um, taken in the uh, calculations in Kelvin so we need to add 273 to any Celsius temperature in order to uh, get the right value of the calculations I just put the Celsius value just to uh, fill the number uh, but the the Kelvin is uh, the the right unit to use in these cases. So um, this is the first step. The next step is to uh, find the constants of the CP. And as we said last time, we for the liquids we get the uh, uh, constants of the CP from uh, the chapter two in Perry. And um, this is uh, how it goes. We last time I didn't um, mention. Uh, how the uh, components are arranged uh, or sorted in the uh, in this table. So for for uh, Coulson for the vapors, uh, we saw that it depends on how many carbon atoms in the molecule. And here it's kind of the same, but it's a little bit different because it's cal it's arranged by the number of carbon atoms, but it depends on the molecular structure. So if it's alkanes, they'll be together. If it's alkenes, they're gonna be together. So this is what you see here. They have methane, ethane, propane, all of these are alkanes and the increasing number of carbon atoms. And then it goes to alkenes, decay. De uh, no, this still alkanes, alkanes, alkanes. Then you'll start with ethylene, propylene, but butene, and so on and so forth. So this is kind of an easier way of finding the components. Um, and um, let's go to the last page of this table just to remember how the equation looks like. I'll zoom in a little bit and just to see how it looks like. So this is the equation number one. It's C1 plus C2 uh, multiplied by T and then C3 multiplied by T power 2 and then uh, till C5. And this is the CP, so when you do the integration, it will be C1 over 2 uh, multiplied by T and C2 over 2 multiplied by T power 2 and so on and so forth. And this is uh, from T reference to the final temperature as we mentioned before. So let's uh, try to find the uh, benzene which we are looking for. So um, uh, it's here in the second page of the table, you have here benzene. And let's see where is the constant which columns because you have different things the CAS number molecular weight and then you have this C1 it's the fourth column after the name of the compound so for benzene you will have the numbers um, and it's pretty important to 
to know how to find the numbers because if you have any problem with the numbers then everything will be uh, messed up so you have these 1.2944 times 10 power 5 minus 1.695 times 10 power 2 6.4781 times 10 to the minus 1 so actually what we need to do here is to uh, put this number so I already have the numbers it's uh, the same numbers and it's important to make sure that you keep the uh, units in, in mind it's joule per kilomole okay so uh, when you calculate the enthalpy it's the most tedious step in the calculations getting the numbers from the table is not a big deal putting the temperature is not a big deal but just the calculations which are the really uh, painful uh, step so um, oops so uh, here um, what we're gonna do now is to uh, do the calculations it's c1 multiplied by t uh, minus t reference plus c2 over 2 multiplied by t power 2 minus t reference power 2 sometimes people get confused and make G, uh, t minus t reference all power 2 it's every 1 to the power 2 uh, plus uh, c3 over 3 multiplied by t power 3 minus t reference power 3 and here we go so this is the final value of the uh, enthalpy and again it's c1 multiplied by t minus t uh, reference uh, c2 or b over 2 multiplied by uh, t uh, square minus t reference square plus um, uh, c, c or c3 over 3 multiplied by t minus t reference each one power 3 so it's pretty straightforward actually and simple and let's say you have a flow rate of 100 kmol per hour then the final flow rate will be the multiplication of these two which is pretty simple now you have the total energy of the stream is uh, this number joule per hour um, and uh, that's it so uh, let's see for the next case uh, if we want to do this for two components and actually it's gonna be almost the same um, and for two components actually it's uh, we are doing these calculations assuming that these two components are uh, so actually it's not assumption these two components are uh, uh, kind of ideal uh, mixing components uh, and as we saw before if it's something that has any heat of mixing or a non ideality then you need to uh, take this heat of mixing into account or to use any other software that can do the calculations by itself um, so here we'll do the same we know it's uh, toluene and uh, xylene and toluene evaporates around at 110 or something like this so we need to do the calculations let's say at 90 celsius and the reference temperature still is 25 so you have this in kelvin plus 273 and oops the same here um again we want to get the constants for the ortho the toluene and ortho xylene which are these two uh, uh, components so you have the number 1.40 times 10 power 5 and so on and so forth so, so we have three constants in the toluene and four in the xylene and it's important to just uh, keep this in mind because i'll tell you in a minute why i uh, i'm caring about this so um let's do the same thing again it's c1 multiplied by t minus t reference plus c2 over 2 multiplied by t power 2 minus t reference power 2 plus c3 over 3 multiplied by t power 3 minus t reference power 3 and um so it's it's all what we need for this um, equation because we know for toluene it's only three components i mean three constants and if you do even the, the fourth and fifth uh, part of the equation it is not gonna matter but i'll do the fourth um, um constant um for one reason that i'm gonna mention in a second um 
So it's now plus B7 over 4, which is the C4 over 4, multiplied by T power 4 minus T reference power 4. It looks to me like something is wrong here. Uh, let's see. Uh, plus B7. Uh, oh, there is a bracket that's missing here. Okay, so we are now good to go. So this is the enthalpy in, in joule per kilo mole. This is only for toluene. Um, the reason I added the fourth uh, term in this equation that I'm gonna drag this equation because as we said before this is the most tedious part of the of the whole process and if I can simplify this by doing this once and then dragging it then it's gonna save me a lot of time and this is actually what I'm gonna do now I just wanna write the full equation so that it's valid for all the components that I have and in, if I have a component that has the five constants then I do the fifth term uh, of this equation so um, in order to freeze uh, I mean to in order to drag it I, I need to make sure that the temperatures are not gonna change so what I'm gonna do now is to press F4 or freeze all the temperatures and then um, it's gonna be ready for dragging um, so it's just kind of simple way for preparing the equation in order to make it ready for all the cases so if you after doing if you see this it's gonna be the full equation you don't need to write it anymore it's just written one once if you want to do this for 10 20 100 components it's pretty simple just put the constants write the equation once and then drag it after freezing the temperature since they all uh, are at the same temperature and if i have the flow rate of 100 for all of them then this will be multiplication of these two which is the total enthalpy because we know that we cannot calcu uh, calculate the total enthalpy by adding the specific enthalpies it has to be the total enthalpy so the total enthalpy would be the summation of these two and here we go so in case you need to change the temperature let's say you'll do it at 80 celsius or any other temperature it's gonna be pretty simple and uh, the most beautiful thing about this is that you can do iterations on temperature uh, as we're gonna see uh, in the next uh, couple of videos because uh, in some cases you need to know which temperature you're applying what or this is the variable that you are trying to get and if you have uh, an equation that has a lot of temperatures power like one two three and four and it's uh, in not in one uh, equation you have this in different equations for each component then it will be super difficult to do it by yourself so you need to have a software that can help you do this by yourself without doing all these kind of iterations by yourself so this is what you're gonna see in the next uh, videos uh, so I'll see you then bye bye